What's going on everybody? Welcome to a very special episode of Fun Bros Food. Today we're in New York City's Hell's Kitchen and we're gonna be talking about two lists that are important to everybody but particularly Asian people and even people that are interested in Asian culture. The best ramen and, and boba in, in the, the country. country. This is gonna be done in collaboration with Tabalog, the newest and hottest foodie review site and app. And East Me East which is the number one premier Asian dating site for Asian singles. Food, dating, dating food, boba ramen, the trifecta. So you know we had to open up this video at one of the most popular and highest ranked ramen shops in the entire world, Ibudo. Let's go talk some ramen and boba. That is one of the best pork buns I've ever had in my life. I can easily see why Ipudo is one of the highest ranked ramen spots in the country. They took a survey of East Meets East users, they came up with a ranking, and these are the best ramen spots in the United States of America. All right, number one on the list is actually Ramen Shop in Oakland, California. Number one in ranking, the Ramen Shop is offering a mega upgrade on the ranking page, so check it out by clicking on the link in the description box below. A lot of people would not expect to hear Oakland yeah, as yeah, the spot yeah. for having the uh, best ramen. Uh, was there a lot of people from Oakland who took the survey? I don't know. <laughs> the East Meets Eats daters picked spots that are also good to go on dates on. Yeah. Number two on the list is in New York, Momofuku. What up, Momo? What up, Fuku? Next up, Andrew. We actually lived in LA for five years. Oh. We, we were living in LA for five years. And we ate years. here a lot, actually. We ate uh, at multiple locations of this one, Daikokuya. Daikokuya, I really like the egg there. The egg is a way to judge a ramen spot that's like low key. Coming in at number four on the list, we have Ipuro. This was my first time to Ipuro. The spicy pork bun blew me away. Yeah. Fifth one on the list is Toto Ramen. Toto! But it's not Totoro, it's <laughs> Toto Ramen. Also a very highly reviewed spot and, you know, everybody talks about it. Shinsengumi. Oh, this spot's a really fun place to go for dates. Shinsengumi is Hakata style ramen. Now, there's an article on Tabalog that breaks down all the different styles. So the four main types of ramen that you're usually gonna see are gonna be Hokkaido, Hakata, Kirakata, and Kyushu. Number seven on the list is coming from Chicago, Slurping Turtle. Yo, that has one of the best names. The Slurping Turtle. Our last and final spot on the ranking list is number eight, and it is Sujita. Yo, and it's delicious, because I've actually eaten there multiple times. There's the Sujita, and then there's Sujita Annex across the street, and they are both delicious. So that's it for our ramen portion, but guess what, Andrew? We said we were gonna give them two incredible, important lists today. That means we're wrapping up ramen, and we're moving on to Boba. All right, on to the next tabalog list. All right, David, you know number five off this Tabalog ranking is Total Ramen. Total Ramen is actually right around the corner of Ipudo, so they're kind of close together. Tabalog actually has real foodies writing real views. It's not just about the service. Tabalog's rankings on Asian food are for sure more accurate than Yelp. All right, next up we have the Tabalog ranking for the best boba in the country. So these are East Me East users who are on the dating site using the dating app and now giving a survey for Tabalog's website and app. Now they didn't only take into consideration taste, but they most importantly weighed how good it is for a date. The number one chain that EME people rank for Tabalog would be Cha Time. Let's go try the boba. I've never been here. I've got a matcha green tea latte with real matcha powder. Yo, and I've got a banana milk tea from Cha Time. When we were saying earlier about the, not the taste, but the date, this might also have the taste. Number two on the Tabalog list, we've got a little place called Coco Fresh. The Coco Man. If you guys are watching this and haven't tried that much boba or it's your first time, definitely start out with taro or the regular classic milk tea. That's a fun roast boba tip. Number three on the list, we've got what kind of tea? Kung, Kung Fu tea. Yo, do you think they got the Ip Man Wing Chun Taro with the sea salt foam on top? They might have. You guys see that movie Shaolin Soccer or Kung Fu Hustle? They just be kicking <laughs> it up on their foot like. 
I, I can see why the EME people ranked it high because this particular corner is really good for taking dates. We live in that boba life, boba. I would say this tea quality is amazing. Go figure, most of the best boba spots in New York City are in Chinatown. Chinatown. This boba ranking, to me, is so reflective of why Tabalog is different from those other food ranking sites. Because at the end of the day, it's about the taste. We're not talking about dabbing, we're talking about tabbing. Coming up at five, six, and seven, we've got it's Boba Loca, Tapioca Express, and it's Boba Time. Let's say you wanna go on a date with someone, but either the guy or the girl is kinda like unsure. Boba is kinda like a nice middle point because you're not committing to like a whole dinner. Theoretically, if the date's going bad, you could drink the boba hella fast and just like that and just be like, okay, I gotta go. If the person really likes the other person, they order aloe and then chew all the little aloes. Or you order a large boba. You're like, oh, you ordered that large one. You must like me. You might get popcorn chicken too. Ooh. According to East Meets East, ramen and boba are the top ranked topics on the app, so they definitely will be a great icebreaker when you message someone on there. I know that a lot of people out there have the same complaints about the current popular food websites, but don't just take our word for it. This is what some people said on the streets of New York. How do you guys usually look up for like hot new restaurants or where to eat to at? Yup. Seriously, Yelp. Yeah. Yeah, we just lurk around on Yelp. Do you guys ever feel like sometimes on a lot of those review sites, the people leaving bad reviews, they like are just complaining about like the service while it's not really about the food itself? Sometimes, yeah, they're always, it's always about service. Totally, there's a lot of reviews about waiting time and service. This new app, Tabalog, where basically they only have foodies review it. I totally use it, food and price. Yeah, totally. I would be interested in an app where only foodies would be reviewing it. Thank you so much for watching that video. Shout out to Tabalog, shout out to EME. Definitely check out eastmeeteast.com, which is the premier Asian dating site for Asian singles. If you are at all interested, whether you agree, disagree, or you're just interested in the ramen and boba ranking that we just gave you guys, make sure you check out tabalog.us. The ranking links are in the description box below. If you download the Tabalog app, in the description box below, you can find restaurants near you and make a decision based on the reviews that are written by foodies. All right, you guys, in the comments section below, make sure you let us know, one, what are your favorite boba and ramen spots where you live? Number two, what'd you think of the Tabalog rankings for ramen and boba? Finally, number three, let us know in the comments below what is a ramen or boba flavor that you have not really seen yet, but you would like to see. Ah, sparking your imagination. Everybody, thank you for watching that video. We hope it was helpful, and until next time, we out. Peace. Yo, you guys, thank you so much for watching that video about the best ramen and boba in America. I do think that Tablog is gonna bring something new to the food ranking game because it is only for real foodies, ranking about flavor and food and giving you additional information. And I think East Me East is especially useful because those are Asians looking for Asians or at least people who are interested in Asian culture. So why did we talk about ramen and boba? It's because on East Me East, the majority of people were asking each other about if they wanted to meet up at either a ramen spot or a boba spot. Again, check out the links in the description to Tabalog and EME, and until next time, we out. Peace. Peace.